Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. When you think of sports, what's one of the first things that comes to mind? For many, it's the ball. Whether it's a basketball being dribbled down the court, a soccer ball being kicked into the net, or a football soaring through the air, the ball is at the heart of countless games. But have you ever stopped to wonder how such a simple object became the centerpiece of so many activities we love today? The ball may seem straightforward, but its journey through history has shaped and revolutionized the world of sports in ways that might surprise you. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of how the ball was invented and how it transformed sports forever. The concept of the ball has been around for thousands of years, long before organized sports as we know them. Ancient civilizations like the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans played ball games for fun, physical exercise, and even ritualistic purposes. But these early balls were far from what we know today. Materials like animal bladders, skins, or even stitched up cloth were commonly used to form the earliest balls. For example, the Chinese were known to play a game called Tsuju as early as 2,300 years ago, where they kicked a leather ball filled with feathers through a small opening in a net. In ancient Greece, there was a game called Episkiros, which involved throwing a ball between teams. The Romans adapted this game into their version called Harpastum. These games show that the ball has long been a symbol of competition and entertainment, but it wasn't until much later that the ball started to evolve into the more advanced versions we use today. One of the main drivers behind the evolution of the ball was the improvement in materials. Early balls were often irregular in shape, making them unpredictable to play with. As different civilizations began to experiment with new materials, like animal leather and even early forms of rubber, the ball became more uniform, rounder, and ultimately more fun to play with. These changes laid the foundation for the modern sports we recognize today. Fast forward to the 19th century, a period of great change in both technology and society. During this time, sports were becoming more formalized and rules more standardized. This was also when many of the ball sports we know today, like soccer, rugby, and basketball, started to take shape. Take soccer, for instance. Although games involving kicking a ball had been played for centuries, it wasn't until 1863 that England's Football Association, FA, was formed, establishing official rules for the game. Alongside the creation of these rules, the ball itself was standardized. No more playing with oddly shaped objects made from animal parts. Now, a leather ball with an inflatable rubber bladder inside became the norm. This development was huge because it meant games could be more predictable, fair, and exciting. Similarly, basketball was invented in 1891 by Canadian physical education instructor James Naismith, who needed an indoor activity to keep his students active during the winter months. The first basketball game was played using a soccer ball. It wasn't until later that a ball specifically designed for the game, with a more consistent bounce and easier grip, was introduced. In rugby and American football, the ball's shape, an elongated oval, was chosen to aid in carrying and throwing the ball. Again, this design evolved out of necessity, making it easier to grip and throw during the rough-and-tumble nature of these sports. One of the major milestones in the history of the ball, and by extension sports, was the invention of vulcanized rubber. In 1839, Charles Goodyear accidentally discovered the process of vulcanization, which made rubber more durable and elastic. This discovery had a profound impact on ball manufacturing. Before vulcanized rubber, balls were often inconsistent in shape and performance. Imagine trying to dribble a basketball that was constantly deflating, or a soccer ball that changed its bounce every time it hit the ground. 
rubber gave balls the consistency and resilience needed for fast-paced, competitive play. Rubber revolutionized not just the durability of balls, but also the range of sports that could be played. Tennis balls, golf balls, and even cricket balls were enhanced by the use of rubber, providing a level of predictability and performance that was crucial for both professional and casual athletes. The bounce, speed, and precision rubber afforded to balls allowed for more complex and exciting games, taking sports to a whole new level. The invention of the ball didn't just impact how sports were played, it fundamentally changed sports culture. With standardized balls, sports could be played anywhere and by anyone, leading to a surge in popularity across the globe. Whether it's kids playing a pickup game of soccer in the streets of Brazil or professionals competing in the World Cup, the ball is the great equalizer. It's simple, accessible, and universally understood. The development of the ball also gave rise to new levels of competition. With consistent and well-crafted balls, players could hone their skills more effectively. The bounce of a basketball, the spin of a soccer ball, or the flight of a tennis ball became crucial elements that athletes learned to master. This, in turn, led to the rise of professional leagues where the best players could showcase their talents on a global stage. Sports like soccer, basketball, and rugby are now multi-billion dollar industries, attracting fans from all corners of the globe. The ball is often at the heart of this passion. People don't just follow their favorite teams, they also obsess over the technology and design of the balls themselves. The evolution of ball design has turned into a science, with companies like Nike, Adidas, and Spalding spending millions of dollars on research and development to create balls that are faster, more aerodynamic, and more reliable than ever. It's hard to imagine sports without the ball, but even today, the humble ball continues to evolve. Modern technology is pushing the boundaries of ball design in ways that ancient civilizations could never have imagined. From smart soccer balls, equipped with sensors that track spin, speed, and trajectory, to basketballs that can measure dribbling techniques, technology is blending with tradition to enhance the sporting experience. In recent years, we've even seen innovations like bio-friendly, sustainable materials being used to make balls, ensuring that future generations can enjoy the same games we love today without harming the planet. The story of the ball is, in many ways, the story of sports itself. From its earliest forms as a simple bladder of air to the advanced designs we see today, the ball has been a symbol of human ingenuity playfulness, and competition. It's brought people together across cultures, countries, and generations. Whether you're tossing a football with friends, dribbling down a court, or cheering for your favorite soccer team, you're participating in a tradition that goes back thousands of years. The ball might seem like a simple object, but its impact on sports and on human culture is anything but ordinary. So the next time you're playing a game, take a moment to appreciate the history, the evolution, and the revolution that the ball represents. It's more than just a piece of equipment. It's a legacy of human creativity and the love of the game. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.